Hello and welcome back to a Game of Thrones mod for Crusader Kings 2. So I've decided how we're going to end the series. I decided the best way to do it is we're just going to speed up the process of what we're already doing. So, as you may have noticed, we've got this little High Lord title can be usurped. I have given us a claim on all of the titles held by the Red Fossaways. Basically, I assumed that that was what we were going to do. That's what we we're kind of aiming to do. In fact, we can probably send our guy off somewhere else, like uh, just go improve relations with our lead or something. But yeah, we have a claim on all of her titles. So, the way I see it, if we usurp her, her title here, she will become the Lord of Rayonet, and that'll be our only title. We then declare war, and we can take it. That gives us the lordship. And each time we take one of these titles, we're just going to grant ourselves a claim to something bigger until eventually we lose something or we win everything. That, that's We're kind of going to go out in a blaze of glory. So, uh, let's disband this army, which shouldn't be raised. And we are going to usurp our title. There we go. That uh, gives us our title. Um, yep. It also us the smaller gold and some prestige. So we've taken that from her. She's now only the... Lord Leona of Raynet, so it should be Lady Leona of Raynet. We've taken that. We can project, we, uh, we can press some de jure ducal claims. We're not going to do that. We are, however, going to declare war on her. So, declare war. We're going to claim Raynet. We'd get Trucebreaker, would we? Uh huh. Well, that's, uh,. That's something I didn't think about. Well, in the uh, in the spirit of speeding things up, this might seem a little bit off. But in the spirit of speeding things up, because we're going to finish it in this week, instead of waiting for her to die, or trying to run through uh, many, many hours of gameplay in order to get there, and hoping that we get through it, we're just going to run a quick chart info, and we're going to kill her. Just to uh, speed things up. And uh, reset the thing. It was killing her, killing us. So she died a natural death. Very nice. We now have Lord Donis. And now we will declare war on him. And that's how we're going to end this series. We're going to end it in wars. If we take this land easily, we'll give ourselves a claim on the Reach. We'll take the Reach. If uh, that war ends easily, then we'll give ourselves a claim on the Iron Throne. And we'll keep going until uh, we're at things that we can claim. And that's about where we're going. So we'll call in all of our allies. Uh, there we go. And let's raise up all of our men. Uh, we've got a fair number of men. Right, and we'll merge them all up, say, in Roseford. That seems reasonable. There's some new uh, Bright Banners houses. Great. I, I, I love seeing the Bright Banners doing well. It uh, fills me with uh, confidence to see so many of them. Right, uh, and then we'll let things go. Uh, grave news, Master Eon, having been tended the wounds of the men at your command, is reported to have cracked under the stress of grotesque injuries. The men are now unnerved because of this. Uh, just a quick thing in game options before we move on. Um, we're going to set the auto save uh, to half yearly. Monthly? Yeah, we'll set this a monthly, actually. This is going to slow down the game significantly, but will also greatly reduce the chance that we actually lose something from a crash. Uh, Lords of Harrenhal approved the institution of small city taxes. Cool. Lots of people being transferred around. Oh, our experience in matters of war has increased. Um, nah, I don't think we want to be trickster. I, want, I think we want an inspiring leader. It's one of the better ones. We'll move kind of in here. Mega died a natural death. Magister Grolo, the gentle, declared the war to overthrow the monarchy on, of Lys on King Alan of the Stormlands. Cool. Yep, little auto save. It's gonna happen every month now, but it's fine. It it just gives us a little bit more security that we're not gonna lose something. Uh, it's a little bit slow if we weren't just giving ourselves planes, but you know, what? Eh, we need to do what we need to do. Uh, what are you up? What are you up to? Are we going to Britta Bridge? No, we're just all going to Rosford. Uh, well, we have fifteen thousand men. Let's attack in. Uh, instead of having Bryden who is a, somebody who doesn't exist be in charge, which is interesting. Let's have it. We have Rolf. Uh, 18th we leave. They arrive on the 20th, and we arrive on the 30th. Okay, cool. In which case, we'll just merge up our armies as we get there. 
you're heading to Holy Hall. Cool. Bunch of these armies. We'll head down here. Steps from the Aemon of Stone Dance. Give it a seat on the Council of Most Devout. Cool. Uh, news from Mir. There's a new person in charge of Mir. Oh, we'll just disband those troops. We don't need them. Now, uh, where are you on? You're into Haystwick. We'll arrive late. So, if we go there and then to Holly Hall. We will arrive five days after they leave. They must have an organizer in charge. They're going really quickly. Oh, never mind. It looks like um, Crack calls the cut, like, corner them. That's what we're going for. And we kill their army. Nice and simple. That should be the army gone. Yup, and now we can head up to Raynette, which is already being sieged and is almost finished being sieged. Cool. Our allies are pretty good. Yeah, things are going well for uh, the uh, Green Apple Falls of Ways with a little bit of help from the uh, Sky Gods. Otherwise known as the Consul. Shit, I never turned Char Info off. Uh, Char Info. There we go. Just uh, while I remember. Oh, it's a blue burn. Change some stuff. We've won the Siege of Maveless. Well, we didn't. Someone else did. But yeah, this isn't how I wanted the series to end originally, just out in case you were wondering. I was planning that we would eventually uh, get these claims, obviously, and do the war, but we're just speeding it up. Uh, yep, we'll be part of the Siege, 11% every 12 days, and it's done. We captured the leader, and that's the end of the war. We'll just, I suppose we should demand important prisoners. Then we will offer peace and force our demands. We've taken the Lordship. We've taken Raynet. And now, if we have a look at the list of things here in our find characters. Foz away. Right. Is a ruler. So we have. My Fuzzaway rulers. We have Edward, Lord of Dun Dunsbridge, who is underneath us. We have Meros, Lord of Cider Hall, who is underneath us. We have Tyrion, Lord of Castmere, who is our Green Apple. We have Chiswick, Lord of Pain Hall, who is a great Green Apple. I didn't even notice him. He's our nephew. Oh, cool. And we have Gareth, of the Rose Road, the last of the uh, main branch. So. What are we going to do here? Oh, he's not last main branch, but he's the, he's the main branch that killed off the other, the red apple branch. So now what are we going to do? Well, we're going to expand our troops. And we're going to get the Reach. That's next on our list. We're just going to keep going. This might be an, a single episode. Uh, I didn't expect it to be that quick. Uh, why has he got a region? Oh, because he's in hiding. Cool. So we are going to... Let's see if I get this right. So it'll be... Lame. Uh, what's it called? Kingdom of the Reach. So it'll be the Reach. So it'll be uh, kingdom level. Is that K underscore the underscore Reach? That did not work. Okay. Uh, give me a second. Okay. I have found out what the correct command is. It is claim E underscore Reach. I have that correct. That has given us a claim on the Kingdom of the Reach. Which, um, how do we press that? Uh, we also have some things. We can request our Lord Param. Uh, we request the Lord Paramountship if we get 25 opinion with our leash. That seems reasonable. Uh, what else are we gonna do about that then? Let's, uh, let's give away Raynet and Rush Hall first. Do you have any friends? We have a friend, although uh, he's not in our realm. What else do we have? We have um, our child. We have some siblings who are all sisters, apart from uh, Tyrion, who already has land. Uh, who do we have at our court? Um, I don't know. We have Arthur Tallspear. Mr. Arthur, I would like to grant you the Lordship of Raynet. Or do we give him Norcross? No, we'll give him Norcross. Uh, must be able to marry and produce heirs. Oh, he's incapable or something. Uh, ah, he's widowed. Oh, well. Uh, let's go back to court. Don't know what went on with the sound there, like, in terms of the music. It just cut out. It's on my end as well, in case you were wondering. 
Our opinion of ourself is Z is negative one hundred. Oh, that's our, our opinion of our leash. Oh. Okay. Cool. We really hate him. Um. Right. What are we gonna go for now? I'm just trying to find somebody who we can give land to. How about Maylor Tallspear, his son. Tallspear's son. We'll uh, grant him Lord Norcross. There we go. And that evens things out. Now we will get our leash to get, like us by 25. So we, he needs to give it eight more points. So, wait, why do we have foreigners? Uh, yeah. His opinion of us is zero for foreigner. Oh, we're a Western man. I did not realize that. No, oh, cool. Uh, we are going to... How are we going to get our opinion with them? Um, hmm. Yeah, we can't send him a gift. Do we not have enough money? That's, um, that's definitely interesting. Ah, uh, you see, I was sure we had enough money. Um, hmm. Let's just, uh, yeah, let's just double, double, oh, yeah, yeah, it appears we have enough money now. Yeah. Right, there we go. He now likes us a little bit more, and we can request our Lord Paramount ship. There we go. And let's see if that works. Also, do we want to convert to be a Reach Man? Probably not. That doesn't seem like a thing we do. The king almost laughed when your request was brought before him. Your request to be named Lord of the Region was dismissed out of hand with so much, without so much as referral to the council. Hmm. The realm shall hear of this. Your allies in the region will think King Desmond the tyrant. My lord, it has come to my attention. Nobody has been designated regent for Rose, the Rose Road. And my Castilian would like to do it. A fine proposal. That seems reasonable. So, he said no. Fair enough. Fair enough. He's now a little bit tyrannical. I think it's time we declare war. We have to lose piety? <sighs> right. Um, yeah. So, I think what we're going to do to speed things up again is we're just going to grant us a small amount of piety. So, we can declare our wars. There we go. And we will declare... Now, do we want to depose him? Independence? I actually just want my uh, Lord Paramount ship. Can we do this in a different way? We have prisoners? Eh, they're not important. We have factions we could join. Can we create a faction for ourselves? Would anyone join that? Could We could create a faction for ourselves and then fire it, if we had it. Um, We are not on the list, though. Why aren't we on the list? I guess we just don't have a good enough claim or something? I suppose we could overthrow the monarchy of the Iron Throne. That would, that would probably do it. Yeah, okay. I wish to overthrow the monarchy of the Iron Throne. Um, let's demand the uh, abolition of uh, the monarchy. Yeah, let's do that. Right. Your shameful attempt at blackmail has not succeeded succeeded. No matter how many corrupt souls you have enticed to help you out carry your plan, to help carry out your plan, I will not give in without a fight. I'd rather die defending what is rightfully mine. Signed, King Desmond of the Iron Throne. We have declared our war. Well, we will call in our allies. They will decline, but we will call them in. We'll raise up our men. Uh, okay. And we'll very, very, very quickly rush away from the Reachmen. Uh, we don't need them. They're too far away. Uh, there's none down there. Okay. We have a small amount from Raynet we also don't need. Right. Can we get any mercenaries? No, we can't afford any mercenaries. So, let's uh, merge up. This is the uh, the side of the Falls Away's end. Yes. Right. Uh, dear friend, may you live in harmony and contentment. It's unfortunate we cannot join your wars at this time. My prisoner, Liana Dane, is complaining about her dark cell in the dungeon, asking for more suitable accommodations. Hmm. Um. I'll be merciful. That's fine. Wait, let's merge up. A righteous cause has attracted many supporters fr uh, from all over the realm. King Desmond, beware. Excuse me? Excuse me? Uh, we got 33 men. Oh, wait, that's not... Excuse me. That's not 33. That's quite clearly like a thousand. Why are you telling me we're getting 33 men? 
What's going on with that? That's uh, crazy. Right, well, let's see if we can win the war against the Iron Throne. I think we might be slightly outnumbered in terms of uh, our numbers. They have 17,000 and we have um, 11. Luckily, they won't be able to take us because we are a man and therefore leading our troops. That's uh, going to help us quite a lot. So how many do we have? We have 13,000. That's not too bad, actually. I thought it was going to be worse. Uh, Gunther will lead one. We will lead another with our four Marshal. And instead of Rolf, we'll have to... Is Tristam or Rolf better? Eh, no, we'll keep Rolf. And then we'll head to King's Landing. Straight there. No messing. Lord Gareth Fosaway, I see just cause in your struggle against your enemies. I'll take up arms and stand beside you. Regards, Lord Tien Cressy. Fantastic. Our ally has decided to join us. That actually gives us more men than the Iron Throne. Crazy. Well, let's take it. King's Landing. Um, we're probably not going to assault this. Right. As I said, uh, this is going much better than I thought it would be. The game hasn't even crashed once. Um, so, here's the thing. If I go at any faster than this speed, the game will crash. So, uh, I'm going to try going speed 2. Let's see. Speed 3. Yeah, no crashing. Bright block. Ah, the bright banners were doing something. That's that's where our problem is. Like. Okay, the game will not let me go past speed one. The siege, I said it was going to take a while. You did not quite realize how much of a while this siege was going to take. Oh yes, of course, a great house has risen in bright banners politics. Oh, 4.5. It might actually crash at the same date every time, and that going at faster speed gets you to that date quicker. We're going to find out together. This could be the end of the Fozaways in 8444. Yes, uh, that would be an unfortunate end. It's a pretty slow... Well, that's it then. We cannot progress past the 19th of January, 8444. This is where the Fozaway story ends. The Rose Road took control, it, they wiped out all of the Red Fozaways who were independent, and then they declared the war to overthrow the Iron Throne, and as they sieged King's Landing, and you see the Tyrell looking down from his tower, it fades to black, with the uh, with a green apple slowly fading in. And that's where the, it ends, yeah. That's the end of this. It's, uh... It was quite a fun series. It was the first RP series that I did, and I quite liked it. For the next series, which I think I'm going to start tomorrow, I see no reason not to. I'm going to be on the latest patch. We're going to do the Ar this is going to be the Ironborn series starting on Wednesday, and it should be Wednesday. This one goes out on Tuesday. Yeah, that'll be the next day. So that it's going to be pretty cool. My plan for that currently is that we're going to have a court that's pretty empty. We're going to have a court that's Pretty much, well, it's going to be entirely filled with um, custom-made characters. Actually, there's going to be one drowned priest in the court because you have to have one. But apart from that, our court is going to be entirely custom-made characters. And that's the way I want to keep it. I want to try and make that the way we do it. I'm going to focus very much on individual characters. Like, in this campaign, we focused a lot on the Fosways themselves. We focused a lot on what they were doing. We focused a lot on their children, and we really only focused on the main branch of them, even then, even so. We had many uh, side branches we stopped caring about. This one, I'm going to be trying to focus on individual court members as well. We're going to try and find them suitable marriages, we're going to try and kind of manage multiple people at once. I think that's going to be pretty cool and kind of gives a different way of uh, looking at the game. We're going to have things where we go out raiding, we're going to have different relations between the characters. I think that's going to be a cool kind of thing to do. So. That's where I'm thinking of he making that series head. Well, thank you for watching, and I uh, hope to see you then. Goodbye.